as we had learned the sum rule of finding derivative in previous video so let's do this example it will give you more concept of finding derivative by using the sum rule what and you'll get more clearance with the sum rule right it's nothing more than the just algebraic uh, algebraic uh, sum or the difference of the derivative right so here a function y is equal with 5x to the power 3 plus 4x to the power 2 minus 2 times x plus 7 right so as I told you that derivative of the sum of the lots of functions right here I can suppose uh, I can suppose that this is one function another function this is another function this is another function or it may be this this together may be another function or this may be one function so there are a lot of functions right and I told you that derivative of that whole is just the sum of the individual derivative means sum of the derivative of this part with this term and this term and this term I'll be finding out the derivative of each term and then I'll be adding it right so what can I do that derivative of y with respect to x is now derivative of this 5x cube and then plus derivative of this 4x square and then minus and then again derivative of this 2x right and then again derivative of this 7 right so here now derivative of this will be now first I need to take out this coefficient outside and I'll be using here power rule as we had learned in previous um, many previous videos I think two three more uh, previously we had learned this so power times variable should be raised one less in power so power is my three so I'm, I'm writing here one less and then again dx over the dx and now here again the same power rule I'm going to use it here right so this is four times the power is here 2 2 times again the variable should be raised 1 less in power 2 minus 1 and again dx over the dx and again plus and sorry it's not plus it's minus so it is uh, 2 times x so it will be uh, 2 times uh, now power is how much 1 is there and variable should be uh, raised 1 less so 1 minus 1 and then it will be dx over the dx and here this is constant and uh, derivative of constant I know I uh, mean so we know since uh, many videos that's always zero right so let's add each and every so here 5 times 3 that is 15 and x 3 minus 1 so x square and derivative of x with respect to x that is dx by dx is 1 so I don't have to write that and 4 times 2 that is 8 and x to the power 2 minus 1 that is x only and minus 2 times 1 and x minus 1 that is 1 minus 1 that is x to the power 0 so we don't have to think x to the power 0 means 1 right this x to the power 0 x to the power 0 is actually 1 so we don't care that now this is 2 and this is 0 I don't have to write so that's it this is my derivative right dy by dx is 15 x squared plus 8x minus 2 and once you get perfect you know you can easily do and faster you can do uh, I'm just giving you here a simple example suppose uh, you have the derivative you have to find out the derivative of like uh, 9 x to the power 7 plus 3 x square minus 2 x plus 7 so once you get perfect you know perfection a little bit you'll get sharpness and it will be dy by dx will be c now simply I will multiply 9 times 7 63 I'll write x and I will just write one less so it will be 7 minus 1 that will be 6 and again here 3 times 2 that is 6 and one less I will raise the power that is 2 minus 1 that is 1 and again 2 there is nothing there is 1 2 times 1 that is 2 and I will raise the power x right see x to the power 1 minus 1 so I will not write see x uh, I mean to say 1 minus 1 that will be 0 and x to the power 0 that is 1 so I don't have to write that's it it's my answer so quickly you can find out the derivative once you know the power right and you do more practice I'll give you also some uh, some some problem that you can find out from my blog and uh, practice those all things and you'll quickly learn how to find out the derivative within a seconds you can find out the derivative man okay so we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye